Ladies and gentlemen, today we found a coach that I get extremely excited about. This 2022 Newmar Dutch Star 4081 just became available here at the Motor Coach Store for $365,555. And as we go through this coach, you'll understand why the Dutch Star is Newmar's most popular model. And this being a 40 foot coach with the tag axle and the Cummins 450 makes it a very comfortable ride and today we're going to take this coach for a test drive i want to show you the interior but first let's take a quick look around the exterior bays so you notice it's got the higher profile with the large awnings on the patio side and this does have the passive steer tag axle so you'll notice when i was pulling this coach out of the line this rear tag axle will follow and will make that turning radius much tighter and then this also being a 40 foot coach, it's gonna be much easier to maneuver than some of the 45 foot coaches. And here's your DEF fill. It is a side radiator coach. There's a little uh, compartment here to store your sewer hose. And I love the exterior color scheme with the silver, white, gray, almost a maroon color, very classy color combination. And I'm noticing the bay doors are closed, but let me find the keys real quick. This this is another option that the Dutch Star has that I really appreciate. It's got the cargo unlock doors. We can just press a button, those bay doors will unlock, and then we have access. And in the first bay here, we've got the house battery bank. You can see it's extremely clean. And then bay two is gonna be a full pass through bay. Now there's no slide tray here, which is gonna give you a little more height. And you can notice it's very well lit. Newmar does a great job with the lighting, not only in the bays, but in the entire coach and as we go through this coach it's just got all of the right options but it doesn't have a lot of the excess stuff to help keep that cost down when you start getting into a 2022 Newmar tag axle diesel pusher it's really easy to start getting north of that million dollar range in the higher end coaches so this isn't gonna have the slide trays it's gonna not have a lot of features that some of the more high-end coaches are but that's gonna really help keep costs down and then that's gonna be less stuff that you have to repair uh, going down the line. So this is just such a nice sweet spot being a 22 late model. Every button we've touched on this coach has worked flawlessly. I just love filming these coaches when they're in such great condition. This has got the Oasis hydronic heating system. Then it does have the power 50 amp cord reel. You know, that's just one of those options that's really nice to have as a diesel pusher owner. So they are giving you all of the right options in my opinion, the button for that is on the door here so it's very easy to roll your power shoreline and then you can see the lighting in this bay as well and this does have the surge guard power protection system and then here's a look at the plumbing bay extremely clean that brushed aluminum look we have a water filter a spot to put paper towels you can turn your water pump on and off out here this does have the rv sandy con the macerator system a sewage flush a nice outside shower here if you want to wash the dog or get cleaned up outside everything is very nice your simple Valterra dump valves here uh, and then that macerator and then a power hose reel as well that's another nice feature no one wants to come out here and roll up shorelines or roll up hoses so having that built in just really makes your life easier as a diesel pusher owner they're not skimping on those important options in the Dutch Star and that's why this is just such a popular pack Package. Coming around to the back of the coach, it's got a very cool style. It does have a 15,000 pound towing capacity. And then to access the engine, just that simple lever to open the engine hatch. You can see your Cummins 450, easy access to your power steering fluid, some of your filters. And I like the height of this engine hatch as well, makes it easy for a technician to access. Then on the patio side, we have an emergency egress door and then here's access to your chassis batteries and then your DEF fill it does have the dual side DEF fill this does have a hundred gallon diesel fuel tank 105 gallon fresh water tank 75 gray and 55 black so if you wanted to do some dry camping this coach is definitely set up for that and this is going to be the bay that houses those holding tanks behind this bay so we're losing that area but they did use 
utilize this space to put the pegboard, a spot to store some tools or some cleaning supplies. And then here we have uh, more storage. This does have the manual slide tray. It's a half slide tray. The Oasis hydronic heating and the 50 amp cord reel are gonna be on the other side of this bay. And here's where the central vac components are housed. And then here's the other side of that full pass through bay that does not have a slide tray. So we have a little more height and storage. And then the first bay, I'm not sure what the story is on this TV or where this gets housed. We're keeping it raw and organic for you guys. A uh, nice storage spot. A lot of times folks will put a cooler in this bay. And then we can fill the diesel fuel tank on both sides. Now, this being a 40 foot coach with the tag axle, I wanna take it for a quick test drive. And then we'll put the slide rooms out and show you the interior. The interior is something to get excited about as well. It does have a doorbell, code entry, and everything is in excellent condition. You can see the grab handle here. You could tell this coach was very well cared for. And then up front, we have the Cummins Onan diesel generator. This is an 8kW generator. Looks like only 162 hours on it. And it does have remote entry lock and unlock for not only your front door, but your cargo doors as well. You can see a beautiful entryway here, a spot to store maybe some shoes or dog leashes, lots of indirect lighting in your entryway here. All right, it is a beautiful day to take this 22 Dutch Star for a test drive. So we have an extremely comfortable seat, the large digital dash, huge display here, wireless charging, USB ports, cup holders. You have your HWH leveling system, your tag dump. Another really nice feature on this coach is it's got a power window. So when you get to a toll or a campground and need to talk to an attendant, you just roll your window up and down as you need simple AC controls. We can start and stop the generator as well as the front fan speed and then our front shade controls here. So the rest of this coach is gonna have manual shades, but we do have power shades for while we're going down the road. Let's take this for a spin and always an honor and a privilege to uh, drive one of these beautiful machines. We appreciate all of you that are uh, subscribing to the channel to make this happen. I just had the Facebook memory come up five years ago where I was cleaning most motorhomes, climbing on ladders. Would have never imagined we'd be test driving these kind of coaches for a video camera. So really appreciate all of you guys. This is a lot to be thankful for here. Appreciate the motor coach store for the opportunity. All right, so we're gonna get on this a little bit. Side radiator, 450 horsepower in a 40 foot coach. And we're going over a pretty big bump here. You can notice it's gonna, this is gonna put the flex test right here, right out of the gate. Man, that was pretty smooth. I mean, a little bit of flex, but every motorhome is gonna have that. Extremely smooth, just getting out of the gate here. I like the large digital dash, very easy to read your mile per hour, your fuel level. This coach does have 15,188 miles on it. All right, and I'm gonna turn it around up here just to show you guys. And I know a lot of people are telling us what kind of uh, camera angles they would prefer us to use. We're trying to do our best. Big thanks to Eli, our cameraman, for helping get the best shots possible. All right, guys, we were causing a traffic jam there here, so we're going to go a little different way. Hopefully, these streets all connect to uh, get back to the motor coach store. We want to keep the miles down on a late model coach like this as much as possible out of respect for the future owner. There's a lot of semi trucks uh, going up and down these roads. It's a very bumpy road. Good test for us to uh, really put these coaches to the test. You can see right there, there's a, a big uh, semi truck we're following right now. A lot of industrial stuff in this area. All right, we made it around the semi truck safely. No scratches on this beautiful 2022. I wanna test out the speed a little bit more here. We do have a stop sign. And then I wanna show you guys what it's like going down the road on a bumpy road. So as I accelerate here, walk to the back of the coach and just show everyone what it's like like with the slide rooms in while it's going down the road. Okay. 
All right, and we made it safely back here to the motor coach store. They're doing a big uh, facelift on the building here. This is the new facility, really getting this place dialed in. We're really excited to be a part of everything. Now, I wanna put the slide rooms out on this coach, and I wanna show you guys in real time, no editing, maybe we will even time how quickly we can get these slide rooms out on this coach. I do need to park it on the line here first, but as soon as we get this coach parked, we're gonna get these slide rooms out and show you around so we got the coach tucked back in we've got the slide room controls here and we're gonna put these slide rooms out see beautiful accent lighting on that slide room face Okay, so that was the first slide room, and then this is gonna be the triple full wall slide. So this goes along the entire driver's side of the coach. You can see it's got that flat floor slide with no carpet on the slide room that's all tile. And then that will slowly drop into place. All right. All right, so we've got the front slide rooms out. You can see a lot of room in this coach. And then the last slide room is gonna be the bedroom slide. Again, very effortless. Boom, so we've got all the slide rooms out. Let's uh, take a look around this interior. So the interior of this coach was very tastefully designed. The pattern on the ceiling with the large diamond style really caught my attention as soon as we came in the coach. And there's nice light colors, but it's not too sterile in this coach. It still feels nice and homey, very comfortable. We do have the high gloss tile floors and these are heated floors. So definitely a very nice feature to have. I think the reason the Dutch Star is one of the most popular motorhomes is because it has all of the right options, but it doesn't have too many options that you don't need. The more stuff, the more you know, gadgets and gizmos, maybe more stuff that needs to be repaired down the road. Lots of simple stuff on this coach, like it has the manual MCD shades. You just pull that and then it will manually come up. And then we also have the day shade there if you wanna just get a little bit of light in, but we'll keep those down right now. It's a hot Florida day here, so we'll keep that sunlight out. Now these cabinets are more of a matte color finish. They don't have that high gloss finish. And you also have that matte finish on your vent cover. Those subtle touches really make this a luxury motorhome. And we've got the Whirlpool microwave, nice light color countertop with the induction cooktop and then these cooktop covers double as a cutting board if you want to chop up some vegetables and then if you want to cook something that might smell up the coach and take this outside to your patio you can just unplug this plug it in outside easy to clean easy to get in here Newmar's thinking of lots of little features like that to make camping more enjoyable and then we also have a sink cover here it's got the dual sided sink Sink, very large galley area and a good amount of storage. We've got the pull-out drawer and everything is extremely clean in this coach being a 22. We have a little spot to store dish sponges and then a spot to store your uh, trash can and recycle on a pull-out.
pull out tray and another slide tray here just to make loading and unloading a little bit easier. And then you'll notice the central vac down here. There is no carpet in this coach, so it makes cleaning very easy. If you just want to sweep everything up, kick this up, it'll vacuum it up. And then there's also another spot right here where you can hook up different hoses if you want to vacuum in your furniture or in little nooks and crannies. But going back to the galley, large drawer space. I don't think this coach has ever been used. Every cabinet that I'm opening up here, I'm just not seeing any wear and tear. Everything is in excellent condition. And then if we need a little more countertop space, we can press this button and that will extend, giving you quite a bit more countertop space. And then now it's gonna break up your living room from your galley, give the chef their own space away from everybody else. And this does have the TV on a televator. We do have outlets and USB ports behind that TV. And then some storage overhead and the Sono sound bar with another spot to store components. You can see the outlets and auxiliary feed ports there. Coming back up to the passenger area over here, I just wanna point out your passenger has a wireless charging. A nice step cover there too to give a flat floor for your passenger passenger while you're going down the road. Everything is in excellent condition. Coming back into the salon, I believe the theater seating is an upgraded option. It's extremely comfortable. We can extend out the leg rest here. Could definitely take a nap here. We also have USB ports, cup holders, and then a good amount of storage here. And everything is extremely clean. It still smells so good in this coach. Everything smells brand new. You do have more USB ports, and this second recliner will come out as well. And this does have the booth floor plan. And I like the way that Newmark curves this backrest around. So if you wanna take a seat and then kick back like this and relax, or you can comfortably sit down and have a meal or maybe get some office work done. And then there's some good storage here above your dinette, all lined with carpet. And every cabinet I'm opening on the interior just is not showing any signs of use in this coach. Coming back into the middle of the coach, it is a bath and a half coach. This pocket door is swiveling to make it easy to get in uh, while you're going down the road with the slide rooms in. Beautiful style bowl sink, plenty of room in your half bathroom. We also have a vent with a fan nice style lighting your breaker panels are going to be up here medicine cabinet space again i doubt anything has ever been stored in any of these cabinets from what i'm seeing the next year booth is the whirlpool residential refrigerator with the water and ice dispenser again very clean and then this also has the pull out freezer drawer with the ice tray and some nice pantry space very well lit next to your refrigerator and then these drawers will lock into place so that they're not swinging out while you're making a turn and then when you want to release those you just press it in and it releases and then when you want to put it back in you just press on it and it'll latch into place then i'll point out the flat floor slide room here this is a triple full wall slide so no carpet on this slide room we have a samsung tv closet space on both sides of the tv here's our newmar owner's manuals simple slide room controls floor heat controls and lighting controls we also have a spot to store the some components and then some drawer space and I forgot to mention, if you do want to section off your rear suite here, you can easily do that. These nice doors have a glass inlay, and you can really feel that Numar quality when we open and close these doors. And it looks like a king size bed. I like the style of bedding that they used here. Nice accent lighting in the slide room face, a cool style on the headboard, and then windows on both sides of the bed with those MCD shades that you can pull up. And then those will open up if you want to get a little fresh air in here as well. And then lots of storage above your bed. There are outlets up there. And then there's also a little uh, puck right here where you can run a CPAP machine through here. And that is on both sides of the bed as well. Coming into the back of the coach, we've got a small step up going into the rear bathroom, but this does have the cathedral ceilings in the bathroom. So it's got this molded fiberglass cap that gives us a few extra inches of headroom, makes a big difference in your bathroom. 
And then we've got the Splendid stackable washer and dryer, some more closet space. Still does have lights in the closet. Now we do have to flip those on and off, but there is a safe in the closet as well. And then a lot of countertop space with the sink along the back of the coach, a lot of medicine cabinet space too, and then outlets all lined with carpet again. I'm not seeing any signs of wear and tear. Everything that we've opened up is in excellent condition. And this coach does have the emergency egress door, a very important option in my opinion. Very easy to get out of this coach in case of an emergency. And then opening this up, it's also easy to you know load clothes uh, into your closet or load stuff into the back of the coach. Depending on where your coach is parked, sometimes it's really nice having that back door. And then you have plenty of room around your Dometic toilet, tucked in the back corner, and then a good amount of storage here above your toilet as well. With those cathedral ceilings, a lot of headroom back in your shower, very large shower head, plenty of room, and then you've got that nice teak seat if you wanna sit down while you're taking a shower. The best part about this coach is it's available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida, where their detail process, their PDI process, the delivery process is second to none. They're a boutique dealership. They can take in trades. They can help you get financing. And when you take delivery of this coach, a trained technician will go over everything, make sure you understand how to operate all of the systems. You can camp the night here or several nights in the coach to make sure you're comfortable with it. So being a late model Numar, going through that PDI process here at the Motor Coach Store, and for $365,555, there's a lot of value in this 22 Dutch Star. So if you are a serious and qualified buyer, you can contact Bradley Twait. His information is available at themotorcoachstore.com. Thanks to all of you that are following. We hope you're all having a great day. Thank you.